this year's Global Peace Index, increased armed conflict, terrorism, and the refugee crisis led to a less peaceful world and a widening gap between peaceful and less peaceful nations. But there are opportunities to take action and drive change. Last year, the United Nations member states adopted the Sustainable Development Goals, and these include Goal 16, which gives the international community a goal that focuses on peaceful, just, and inclusive societies. This is good news. For the first time, member states have formally recognized the critical nature of peacefulness in advancing global development. However, Goal 16 is just the beginning, and there is much work to be done. Today, it is possible to partially track progress toward Goal 16. But until countries measure all of the indicators, rather than partial or incomplete data, the effectiveness of Goal 16 will be limited. Without measurement, we cannot push for action. The recognition of Goal 16 represents a huge breakthrough in attitudes toward peace. Without peace, we can't have development. However, actual spending on peacebuilding and peacekeeping last year was equivalent to just 2% of the $742 billion lost to violent conflict. Peacebuilding is an investment. Peace guarantees human security today and sustainable development tomorrow. As we celebrate the International Day of Peace, I'd like to call on all of you to use this day to encourage measurement hold governments to account, and ultimately, to help achieve Goal 16. Join us and thousands of other peace organizations this week working to bridge the gap between violent conflict and positive change.